it's time to get rolling and build some wheel assemblies. So we're going to start with our wheel assemblies with the traction wheel assembly. You're going to need a shaft collar. This is our 5 millimeter hex shaft. This is 135 millimeters long. This is our 90 millimeter traction wheel. So it's grippy all the way around. And this is our 72 tooth gear that will then go mate to our ultra planetary assemblies from earlier and get traction to the ground for us. We also need a through bore bearing long. So you can see it's a little longer. So to start preloading, we're going to take our five millimeter hex shaft, our shaft collar, and we're going to put it on here. And whoop, if I can pick up, this is our 1.5 millimeter Allen or hex key. And I'm going to go ahead and put it into the set screw there. And I'm going to line the set screw up to the flat of the shaft. So essentially, you want the set screw part to basically go into the flat of the shaft. And it'll kind of naturally do that as you go to tighten it um, and prevent it from rotating. But then you really want to tighten it down on the flat. So we're going to make this flush with the end of the shaft. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten it down. And once I've kind of snugged it up a little bit, I can take it out and use the straight end to go in. And now I have a little bit more leverage. I don't, I don't need to make this too tight, but I want to make sure it doesn't move on me. So do a little bit of a turn there. And now that's on there nice and tight. Now we're going to take our 90 millimeter traction wheel and we're going to go ahead and slide that onto the shaft. And slide that all the way down. And then going to take our 72 tooth gear and go ahead and slide that down the shaft. I'm then going to take our long, our through bore bearing long, and that actually does have a hex profile to it and will line up with the shaft. And we're going to push that on. And that's basically all we need for the pre assembly of the wheel. And you just need to make a second one for the traction wheel. Okay, we're now going to do our omni wheel assembly. So, shaft collar, 90 millimeter omni wheel, one through bore, bore bearing long as well as, again, our 5 millimeter by 135 millimeter long shaft. So we're going to do the same step as we did with the traction wheel. And we're just going to get the shaft collar on here. I'm going to get the 1.5 millimeter Allen into the grub screw or set screw. I'm going to put the shaft collar flush with the shaft. And I'm going to, again, tighten this down a little bit. And I'm just going slow to make sure I kind of keep it flush. And it's also being pressed against, it's going to be very difficult to see, but the flat of the shaft. And then I'm going to wiggle and pop this out from the ball end, go to the straight end with a little more leverage. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit. And that's just to make sure it tightens up and this won't come off on you. I will then slip the 90 millimeter Omni wheel on, as well as a through bar bearing long, and push it all the way down. That'll kind of hold it in place, just like that. And then we just need to make two of those. And those are our two Omni wheel assemblies we need to move on. We're going to start with uh, assembling our wheels into our robot frame. For each wheel, we're going to need two additional shaft collars as well as a through bore bearing long. We're going to start with our geared or attraction wheel assemblies. So we're going to go ahead and get these new wheels out of the way and put one of these off to the side as well. And the first thing to note is which bracket you're using. We're using the bent bracket here on the motors. But if you are using the flat, it will sit a little differently. It's going to sit in the channel here instead. It can be a good idea to take one of these small spacers. And before the through bore bearing long, put that spacer in between the gear and that through bore bearing long. That will space this gear off just a little bit more and give you a little bit better mesh on your gears. But we don't need this since we are using the bent bracket. The first thing I'm going to do is turn this over and look at these bearing placements. Now, I've set these motors to be flush on the edge of this extrusion as well as flush here. And both of those are the case. And we can adjust this a little later, but that's about where our setting is. So now underneath here on our our pillow blocks. I'm going to adjust these a little bit ahead of time. So you'll see these are moved up a little bit and I've basically spaced them off approximately the, the, the thickness of a, a shaft collar. 
So I'm just going to move this side up about the spacing of the shaft collar. And this is just going to help us with our alignment, our gear alignment. So I'm just going to loosen these. And now that these can slide, we're going to slide it up and space it approximately, approximately one of these shaft collars in thickness. So again, I'm going to push this up and space it about there. And now you can see that they're all about evenly spaced. And again, we can always adjust this later. We're now going to take our traction wheel assembly. I'm going to actually find where the set screw location is. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put some additional shaft collars on this. And I want all the set screws to be lined up. So that way, if I'm able to get to one, I can get to all of them in that line. I'm going to go ahead and start to put it through the first pillow block. And before I get to the next one, I'm going to take two shaft collars and slide them on with our set screws approximately the same place. They might rotate on you, which is totally fine because we can adjust those later. I'm then going to take a, another through bore bearing long and I'm going to rotate it until it goes onto that hex shaft. I'm just going to start it. And once it's started, I can then bring it to the next pillow block and this will now sit in there. And as I line up this one, I should be able to just push it in. Now that's pushed in, I will bring my two shaft collars to either side. Take my 1.5 millimeter Allen or hex key wrench, get it in there. And I'm just going to snug this up Ooh. on both sides. And what you're doing is you're basically locking this shaft in place. And I can even take the straight edge side and give it just a little bit more rotation if I really want it locked in. You might need to adjust this later, but it should be good. So these two are basically keeping the shaft from being able to slide out of here with the addition of this one, keeping that wheel on. And now we're in place. Now we're going to get to the meshing of the gears later, but for now this is good. And let's go ahead and do the other side. So again, take our traction wheel. We're going to start to slide it in the first pillow block. We're going to take, I'm going to note the location of the set screw is here here. Okay. And so I'm going to take my other shaft collars and slide them on. Again, they might rotate on you, but if they are tightened up a little bit, they won't rotate up all the way over the hex. I'm going to take our through bore bearing long and start it on the shaft. And then we're going to bring it in, line it up with the second pillow block, line up the first pillow block with the other through bore bearing long, and then just press it in. We can separate the two shaft collars. And I'm just going to tighten this one. Wiggle it out. This one's in there all the way as well. And this doesn't need to be too tight side to side because you want to make sure that the wheel is able to have free motion in here. So you don't need to smash this in any means. And we're just snugging everything up. And I do like to I do like to make these set screws a little tighter than than snug just to keep them on there, but should be okay. So now that these are both on, we can address the mesh of the gears. So we're going to rotate this over. And the easiest way to do this, visually at least, is to be able to take off this wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the set screw. I'm going to go ahead and take this shaft collar off and then slide the wheel off. Now we can really see the gears. And this is really important that the gear mesh is very good. And you can see this is actually pretty good already. There's a little bit of play. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. If you need to adjust this at all, you can adjust either the pillow block spacing over more. Or additionally, our motor is on slots here. So we can loosen these. And I'm going to go ahead and loosen these two. So now that our motor can float forwards and backwards as well as up and down this way. So we can now look at it from the top. We can do that for alignment first. And we want, we want the two gears very well aligned to each other. And you can also see from this face, these are now flush and that's good. We can then slide the motor 
into position to where these are very well meshed and you can see that the teeth are not too tight with each other. There's a little bit of play, but they're going to rotate pretty nicely. And then we can come in and snug these up. And that'll hold that motor back in place. But it is key that you have a good mesh there and that these are rotating nicely. We can then replace our wheel and replace the shaft collar. And again, I'm going to try and line it up with the other set screws that I have down here. With the traction wheel assemblies now attached to the robot and the gears meshed pretty well, we can now focus on the Omni wheels up front. So we're going to go ahead and flip this over and do our best to demonstrate this. So we're going to take our Omni wheel assembly, slide it through the first pillow block. We're then going to take two shaft collars and we're going to take note of where the other set screw is and line up this set screw to that, just so everything's lined up nicely for the future. We're then going to take our through bar bearing long, slide it on, and then start to bring it in. You're going to line up this bearing first, and we start to push until this bearing gets into the pillow block, like there. Push it in until it stops. Bring our shaft collar over. Grab our 1.5 millimeter hex or Allen key. Go ahead and tighten that one up. Bring this one over to this side. Tighten it up. If you want to, you can come in and tighten a little more, but that should be good. And it rotates pretty freely, so that's good. Now do the other side. Same thing. Bring it in. Notate the position of the set screw and line that up. Get another long bearing on there, the through board bearing long. Line it up with the first pillow block. Push in until this other one lines up with the first pillow block. There we go. And then we're going to bring this shaft collar over. We're going to tighten it. Okay, and we're going to bring this one to this side and tighten it. Okay, and that's spinning pretty freely, which is great. And there we go.